All right, so welcome to round seven. So in this round right here, we're gonna focus on the bob and weave. Last round, we focused on the slip movement. That was how you get away from straight punches. This part right here, when you're doing bob and weave, this is how you get away from hooks. What is the bob and weave? We're in a boxing position, rolling underneath the hook. That is the bob and weave. So we're gonna keep our hands in a proper position. Let me show you the proper fashion, starting with the feet. Exact same thing as the slip. Remember when I slipped, I went to the side like this and my foot pivot. Now with the bob and weave, I'm gonna roll underneath and pivot that foot slightly. Look at my back foot, I'm gonna do it one more time. Roll underneath and pivot that foot slightly. When I go to the right side, roll underneath to this side. Nice and smooth. You want to make sure you get underneath. Never have a straight back. We don't want a straight posture inside of boxing. Just roll those shoulders in, coming underneath. If you had your shoulders out like this and you had a straight posture, look, guess what it look like? You don't want that. That, that. that don't look right. You want to make sure we look good while we're doing it at the same time. I'm coming underneath. Roll underneath. Roll underneath. I'm going to show you one more time from this angle. Roll underneath and roll underneath. Now to help me demonstrate one more time, Nicole, want to come back real quick? Thank you. All right, so now that I got Nicole out here with me, I'm gonna show you how to get away from those hooks. So let me get you lined up right here, getting in that good boxing stance, and she's gonna start off rolling underneath. Go ahead, roll into the right, now roll to the left. Wonderful, now watch how she rolled to the left. Notice the pivot on her back foot. That is the proper way to have your foot when you're going for this bob and weave. She got a good bend in the knees. Both knees are slightly bent. You never want to go too straight on those. But now once you come right back into regular boxing position. Wonderful, let's just show you one more time. I'm gonna get on this side. Do the bob and weave, let's go real life. One, two, you see how she's getting away from the hooks? Wonderful. That is the proper way to get away from the hook. So now let's use the bow ball as our opponent. So I'm gonna get you on this side right here. So how she's gonna do this? She's gonna be swinging the ball from side to side and she's gonna be bobbing and weaving underneath. Now, while she's doing the bobbing and weaving, you're gonna notice, cause the bow ball is not gonna stand put and it's just gonna, not gonna go straight side to side. Sometimes it might veer off a little bit at an angle. So you'll notice as the ball veers off, she might turn with the ball and go underneath the bow ball. It's gonna really challenge her hand-eye coordination right there and her focus. Go ahead, I just want you to do it two times and then catch the ball. Rolling underneath to the side, wonderful. Do it again. Roll and roll, one more time. Roll and roll, last one. Roll, I was looking for something. Nice, there we go, that's what I was looking for. I was making sure that her back wasn't straight, but her shoulders were rolled in. That's something that's key to make sure that we never have a straight posture. I mean, it's all nice and great, pardon, but we wanna make sure that we're kinda slouched over, shoulders are rolled in. It will help with the roll when we start to do that. Now, I'm gonna get a little bit more of an advanced version. I'm gonna get you right over there if you don't mind. So as I'm doing this, I'm just gonna bring the bow ball to the side, I'm gonna bounce it off the ceiling, and then I'm gonna slip under twice, and then I'm going to catch it. I'm rolling one, two, and I'm gonna catch it. Let me get you over here now, so make sure you don't get hit on this side. So we're gonna do it one more time. I'm rolling underneath, one, two. Now I'm gonna take it a little bit more advanced. I'm gonna start speeding up. Remember, the harder you throw it, the faster it's gonna go. So I'm coming underneath, one, Two, one, two, catch it. After four, it starts to slow down. One, two, one, two. One more time. One, two, one, and two. That is the proper way to get underneath that hook. I'll see you inside of round seven when it comes down to the bob and weave. Get ready. See you in the fight zone.